Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Yep, it's still winter in New England. It's February 7th. And uh, yeah, we're supposed to get maybe two to four inches, but then it's just going to be a big mess because there's going to be a lot of rain on top of this and then it's going to freeze over. So I guess um, up into New Hampshire where they're going to be getting six to 10 or 10 plus inches of snow and up in the mountains probably and ski areas are going to love this but uh, yesterday I was looking in the cellar and I noticed some green on my amaryllis bulbs and I was searching online yesterday to uh, find out when's a good time to pot or repot the amaryllis bulbs I just left them in the pot it's been so cold this year it's pretty cold in the cellar but I noticed some growth and I thought it was just um, leaves because one of the smaller bulbs, it has a little uh, bulb that has sprouted off of one of the main bulbs, has a leaf coming out. So I thought they were all leaves. But uh, lo and behold, the flower stalks are coming out of two of the bulbs. So it's time to uh, separate them and repot them and get them on the windowsill. So when they flower, um, help me get through this winter into spring. So, give some hope that spring's just around the corner or is approaching closer every day. So let's go take a look at those amaryllis bulbs. Yeah, so there they are. Nice and bright, uh, thanks to the new shop lights that I've added in the cellar here. Instead of the 75 watt incandescent lights here and there. Got a nice shop light here, give me some nice lighting. But yeah, this is the green that I was looking at and didn't really... I mean, the, the pot on the left, you can actually see some green on the bulb, and that's what I was kind of noticing. And then on the right, I saw that one leaf there, and I said, well, I better start thinking about uh, giving these some attention. And I was just online uh, yesterday, because I, I usually just keep them in the pots and... I can't remember now. I think that I left them uh, outside last year uh, and I forgot the first frost came. So I think I, I, I lost a bunch of the uh, uh, bulbs. But you know what happened too is when you have that saucer on these plastic uh, pots that retain water when it's constantly raining, uh, you can end up water uh, waterlogging these bulbs. I think that's how I lost some of them. And uh, I thought maybe I had lost a, I can't remember the name of it, it's a really dark red uh, amaryllis that I had purchased off of uh, eBay. And I wasn't certain what bulb was what. And uh, I think I did find out that I had, I did uh, save the red ones. I, this, this might be it here because, and you can see now I've got a couple, or this is the white one. I'm not going to uh, say for certain but looks like this would be the one that would tell me the quickest. Uh, oh, is that a little red there on that split on the left? Sort of reddish. I don't know. Maybe this is the red one. But I'm going to separate these, start off with these. Since they're showing the, the flower stalk coming up there, time to get these on a windowsill, get them into some. I don't have any uh, pre moistened potting mix. I was just scouring around the cellar here. I've got this really powdery stuff so I'll just repot these and then soak them uh, under the faucet until I rehydrate that potting mix with the bulbs already repotted. So you can actually just put these in water, right? If you have a nice wide mouth uh, vase or something like that or container or any jar I've seen that, uh, a lot of people selling these amaryllis bulbs for for uh, the flowers without any soil, so yeah, so it's time to separate these, get these into these pots here. So, do this without damaging, oh, we've got some nice roots there. Now see, I, I was watering this occasionally. Probably shouldn't have watered at all. So yeah, these... Clean these up, get all this old... So 
like the onions have this the old skin on the outside here, layers of skin. Those will green up once the sun starts to uh, get on these. So it's time to get these into pots. And these stalks, they come up really quick too. Now, I don't know if I should just, yeah, those are naturally just separating. I think I'm going to do some damage to the roots probably, but. Ah. Wow. All right. It's not that bad. I might just not do not do anything uh, more for this. I'll just leave it like that and add the uh, new soil. I don't need to go in there and disturb anything. So I got the new pots here. I like to put in these coffee filters so the soil doesn't leach through when I water them or when I carry them over to the, the sink to water. and I don't have to worry about any soil falling out. And if I have it on, I like to put the, you know, they have the saucers that snap into these. And uh, I like to have those separate clear ones that you can purchase. They're not that expensive. That way, you know, if you've overwatered, you can hurry up and take it over to the sink and empty out the saucer. I mean, you can do it with these, but the saucer tends to, I mean, you have to look in there in the gap to see if you've overwatered, and you could have that standing water and not realize it. This one here, well, this is naturally separated already, so I'm, I'm going to remove this one too. Put this in its own separate pot. So let me get that soil. Where did I put it? I don't know, this is really got a lot of uh, bark in it, but it's called Organic Choice Potting Mix. It's just a miracle grow. So, don't really, I guess it's supposed to be good draining, maybe that's the concept. I think these things like. A nice dark soil. This this will be good just to get the, the flower. Like I said, one of the options is to just to have these in water, right? So and you want the bulb above the soil line. I'm just gonna leave it just like it is. Like that. Oh maybe I already have some too much in there. Mm -hmm. Like that, just so I can get this on the window sill. All so these these bulbs look like they. I'd have to go look at last year's video on when I almost lost a lot of these bulbs, or did lose a bunch of them, and was wondering whether or not I had lost the red one. They look like they've had some good growth over the year. see how dry this is. I'll have to do some repeated soakings uh, in the sink to get this soil rehydrated. But that's the that's pretty much it. Just to get these back on a windowsill and warm them up and get them get the sun on there. I think we're gaining more 
more uh, more sun each day. So that's the first one. I think that looks okay. Let's water this in. Yeah, so let me water this in. Rehydrate this soil. It's going to resist the water. This is that the saucer that I'm talking about. The plastic ones. Instead of keeping the, the one that snaps into this uh, pot here. I like to have these little separate ones. So I'll let this rehydrate and soak in while I go repeat the process and pot up those other those other two bulbs there and get get to that other pot in, on another day. Same process. But they don't show really any signs of this flower stalk there coming out yet. So I'll do these first. So here's the smaller one. It's almost uh, too much pot for that. I don't know. Might find something smaller for that. But let's get this in. Got some more potty mix here. that came out better than the first one. I like the level on that one a little bit better. Now, original pot that they all came out of. I don't know. I should put that in there or try to find something smaller. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it in this little pot here, this little plastic pot. I don't know. <laughs> now it's looking like it's already um, too tight. Let's get this in here.
So that's it. I've got the amaryllis bulbs in soil. And even though it's still winter outside, as you can see by the new snow, we have blanketing the area. I was just checking. looks like the uh, mix line is getting closer and closer. So it's going to be a, a sloppy mess out there. And then it's going to freeze over. So in hopefully two to three weeks, this amaryllis bulb will have a nice flower on it that will um, give us some encouragement going into the spring that winter uh, soon a couple more months will be over thanks for watching